Hey guys, welcome back to another video and I'm so excited for today's vlog because today is a really super special day for me. Uh, for those who don't know, I am the brand strategist for the BodCon, so I do work with them a lot along with my own social media content that I do, but we actually planned an event for uh, the people that we've worked with, our partners, people who believe what we believe, and um, I'm not gonna say I did the whole thing because I did not, it definitely was a team effort, but like 80% of it was definitely me. <laughs> I invited the folks, I found the place, I figured out the packages, I stayed within our budget, um, you know, got the place cards. Thank God for Trish, she got the flowers and the bosses for that, so I didn't have to do that. But for the most part, you know, I made sure that everybody knew what was happening. Uh, and I'm just so excited. So I wanna show you guys what I'm wearing. Let's do it. All right, so this is the top these are the bottom this whole outfit is ashley stewart and then i'm gonna actually believe it or not you guys if you've been following me for a while you have seen this outfit on me before i am re-wearing this outfit i wore this outfit last year for the bodcon or actually it was the beginning of this year and um nobody got to see it in person it was all on camera and like only waist up so let me see there we go so here is the vibe i wanted to look like professional it, it is cocktail but i just didn't have enough time to like find like a cocktail attire that i like that felt like appropriate and i feel like this is the most appropriate so yeah you guys have seen me in this fit before and um, i'm just so comfortable in it it's like uh, when you work so hard for something and it's here I, I will say i was stressed out this morning i told them i was like guys i'm stressing like and it's because I care, of course, but I cannot wait for you guys to see the event. I can't wait to see the event. I, haven't even, I don't even know what it looks like. So I'm so excited to see everything. I love you guys, and I'll bring you along with me. which is not something that you should be thinking about and due to media, social media, and the things that are around them or even the people in their own homes, they were taught these certain things, how to diet and what you need to look like to be healthy. And I feel like the body count is on a mission to make sure that we are the experts in the body confidence space. We wanna make sure that people know and are knowledgeable of what health means, what confidence means, what mental health really truly is, and what body acceptance is. So I have been blessed with the opportunity to work with this 
amazing company. And I'm actually gonna bring up someone. She is the brand manager. She is my mentor. <laughs> um, and honestly, if it wasn't for us having this amazing mission, I would not be here. It's all about the people, it's all about what we're doing, and it's very important that we spread the word. And that's why we invited you guys, because we want to thank you for all the support, the partnerships that have happened, and the partnerships that are to come, because we know that the mission is really super important. So that's why we threw this event. So again, thank you guys so much for coming, but I want you guys to give it up for Gabrielle. Yeah. She is going to give you the real facts. She is <laughs> 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 you know. and Rachel and Trish um, because this has been a journey for us, right? This past year, I'm like tearing up to see, because this is my first time seeing you in person, so right? <laughs> we, we launched the Confidence Conference, the BotCon Conference in 2023, this past March. Feels like it was so long ago. But from then, we said, okay, we want to have a podcast and we want to add a video component to the podcast. And Trish comes in, she's like, oh yeah, we can do it. And we're like, okay, but we also want to have like this confidence series where we interview women and, you know, that comes from all different walks of lives, uh, physicians, uh, authors, uh, confidence coaches. The BotCon and all the things that the BotCon is. And um, prior to that, for years, I'm not kidding you, for years, I would write my journal and do my manifestations every day. And I would write that um, I will create a positive impact, a confidence boosting space and conversation for women across the country. And I didn't know what that looked like. I had literally no idea. Um, and then the bot pot literally fell into my lap, which was like obviously the greatest thing um, because the bot pot is, the bot con in general, but the bot pot that I'm so lucky to host is having those conversations about confidence and reaching women and men across the US across the world, um, I get messages all the time from people, like every week when, um, when we launch a new episode, I'll get a message of someone saying like, how it was validating to them. Hey, you literally messaged me today saying that you were listening to an episode. <laughs> so I'm Sarah Twaya, I'm a plus fashion blogger. Uh, I, in the last decade, I've been doing this for over a decade, which is wild, the last time we have industry, I have seen so much progress. I have seen it go from being like a handful of brands literally like five brands that I wanted to wear when I first started, and that was really stressful if I was getting creative. Um, and I've seen how far we've come. We went from almost no representation on the runways there, which literally the first time there was a plus fashion show at Fashion Week was 10 years ago this September. Wow. It was September 2015, and I was there, and there were six models, one of them was Precious Lee, she was with Victoria back then, yes. Megan, but that, that was the first time that there was an official plus size show on the New York Fashion Week calendar, part of the actual fashion week. That was just 10 years ago. So before then, there were no plus models, or if there was a plus model, it was a, it was a token at best, and a gimmick, probably for the most part, if it, if it happened at all, and it barely even happened. So I've seen that. Now we have Precious Lee walking in Versace in some of the biggest runways in the world. They have shows like Carolina Vito that has happened in Milan this week, week that was a full plus size show. It was showing, celebrating diversity of plus bodies in different shapes and sizes. We have brands like Selkie that will show, uh, that actually have offer things up to 6X and they will show it on a range of plus size bodies, not just the one hourglass figure, not just the one flat abs and no double chin, they have models that show across the board. I've seen that progress and that progress is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Um, just the fact that even in representation and 
modeling and stuff like that still isn't the same. You know, I even get like, oh, like, but you're the beauty, you're the, the uh, what is it called? The image. Like, even my body type. Let's talk about different body types, apple shape, hair shape. It's, it's bigger than what we really know. So, thank you guys again for being here. It's a really important passion for all of us. And that's really the end of the presentation. <laughs> Good morning! Vlogging from my phone because I do not feel like changing the battery on my camera. But guys, I'm so sorry. I told you I was gonna vlog like last night and my assistant was there. She got a lot of content, so hopefully I was able to get as much as I can. But y'all, I am like in bliss. I am so proud of myself. I am feeling like I'm feeling encouraged. I'm feeling uh like I'm on the right track. I'm feeling like I'm in my, my, uh, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Like I'm in my purpose. It's, it's very, very weird. And, um, I, I can, I just want to thank everybody who showed up yesterday for our event. And I will say that I worked very, really, I worked very freaking hard. Like, to put this thing together and I wanted people to feel special and I wanted people to be educated and I wanted people to understand like our mission was way more important than anything uh, that we do. Like our life should be wrapped around how we can help others and what people are feeling and making sure that we're educated and knowing what's happening in our world. And I feel like we did that. And it's just been, uh, guys, I'm like, it's like I'm pregnant, like I'm glowing. I just gotta put some lotion on, I'm ashy, but I'm still glowing. But yeah, um, let me just say this. There are stats, there are statistics. My room's a hot mess, that's one statistic, but another statistic. 80% of teen girls have a fear of being fat, right? And uh, there are women who will avoid doing outdoor activities due to body image issues and it's just something that was not talked about. It's not spoken about. And to be able to be a part of a platform that wants to be the experts in this, this is my life. I've lived it. This is who I am, you know, just always feeling like not accepted, not good enough. This is literally everything that uh, I've been fighting for. And to be around other people who are fighting for the same thing is like, whew, it's so good. So I have a hangover because last night was open bar. <laughs> Lit. <laughs> um, but we are going to, uh, I'm going to go to my hair appointment. I am getting a curly hair consultation. Yay. <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to get a real freaking haircut, guys. Like a real, real haircut. So I'm excited for that. <laughs> 